Our planet is warming up. We can all feel it. The good news is that we can do something about it. Growing plants is one of the most powerful tools we have. Plants are natural air conditioners. They cool the air through photosynthesis and transpiration. They also provide shade, reducing the amount of heat absorbed by the ground. Every plant makes a difference. Imagine millions of gardens, balconies and rooftops teeming with greenery. This collective effort can significantly impact the fight against climate change. By growing plants, we're not just beautifying our surroundings, we're actively contributing to a cooler, healthier planet for everyone. Plants have a clever way of cooling the air. They use a combination of two essential processes that not only help them survive, but also benefit the environment around them. It's a two-pronged approach, photosynthesis and transpiration. These processes are fundamental to plant life and have a significant impact on our ecosystem. Photosynthesis is the process where plants absorb carbon dioxide from the air and use sunlight to convert it into energy. This energy is stored in the form of glucose, which plants use to grow and thrive. This process helps to reduce greenhouse gases by taking in carbon dioxide, a major contributor to global warming, and converting it into oxygen, which is essential for life on Earth. Transpiration, on the other hand, is like a plant's own cooling system. It involves the movement of water from the roots to the leaves, where it evaporates into the atmosphere. As plants absorb water through their roots, they release excess moisture through their leaves in the form of water vapour. This process is crucial for maintaining the plant's internal temperature and overall health. This evaporation process cools the surrounding air, much like how our sweat cools us down. When water evaporates from the surface of the leaves, it takes heat away from the plant, thereby cooling it and the air around it. These natural processes not only regulate temperature, but also improve air quality. By releasing oxygen and absorbing pollutants, plants act as natural air purifiers. By absorbing carbon dioxide and releasing oxygen, plants act as natural air purifiers, making our environment cleaner and healthier. This exchange of gases is vital for the survival of many living organisms, including humans. So by simply existing and doing what they do best, plants play a vital role in keeping our planet cool and our air fresh. Their ability to photosynthesize and transpire makes them indispensable allies in the fight against climate change and air pollution. The diversity of plant species in our forests, gardens and urban areas contributes to a balanced ecosystem. Each plant, no matter how small, plays a part in this intricate web of life. By planting more trees and nurturing our green spaces, we can enhance these natural processes. Community gardening and reforestation efforts are excellent ways to support the environment and promote sustainability. Educating the younger generation about the importance of plants and their role in our ecosystem is crucial. Through educational programs and hands-on activities, we can inspire future generations to value and protect our natural world. Healthy, thriving plants are a testament to the power of nature. They remind us of the delicate balance that sustains life on Earth and the importance of preserving it for future generations. Cities tend to be hotter than rural areas, a phenomenon that has become increasingly noticeable with urban expansion. This is due to the urban heat island effect where urban areas experience significantly higher temperatures than their rural surroundings. Buildings, roads and concrete surfaces absorb and trap heat during the day, releasing it slowly at night. This creates urban islands of higher temperatures, making cities uncomfortable and sometimes unbearable during heat waves. However, plants can significantly mitigate this effect by introducing natural cooling mechanisms into the urban environment. Trees with their sprawling canopies provide much needed shade, cooling both the air and the ground below. Their leaves also release moisture through a process called transpiration, which further cools the surrounding air. Parks and green spaces act as cool oases within the concrete jungle, offering respite from the heat and improving the overall quality of urban life. Green roofs and walls where vegetation covers buildings further combat the urban heat island effect. These green structures not only cool the air but also provide insulation, reducing the energy needed for air conditioning. 
Over time, these green installations can lead to significant energy savings and a reduction in greenhouse gas emissions, making cities more sustainable. By integrating more greenery into our cities, we can create cooler, more comfortable and healthier urban environments. This not only benefits the residents, but also supports local wildlife, enhances biodiversity and contributes to the overall ecological balance. When selecting plants, it's crucial to consider your local climate. Native plants are particularly well suited to your region's conditions. They thrive in the local soil, require less water and are more resistant to pests and diseases. Research which plants are native to your area. Consider factors like sunlight, rainfall and temperature. Visit local nurseries for expert advice and a selection of climate appropriate plants. Remember, choosing the right plant for the right place ensures its survival and maximizes its ability to thrive and contribute to a cooler environment. From seed to bloom, planting is a rewarding experience that connects us to nature and brings life to our surroundings. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to get you started. First, choose a location. It's important to select a spot that receives adequate sunlight, as most plants need at least six hours of direct sunlight each day to thrive. Select a spot with suitable sunlight and drainage. Next, prepare the soil. Good soil preparation is crucial for healthy plant growth. Start by loosening the soil to improve aeration and root penetration. Loosen the soil and amend it with compost for added nutrients. Compost enriches the soil, providing essential nutrients and improving its structure. Then dig a hole. Make a hole slightly larger than the plant's root ball. This ensures that the roots have enough space to spread out and establish themselves. Now plant with care. Gently place the plant in the hole and backfill with soil. Firm the soil around the plant to eliminate air pockets. After that, water generously. Give your new plant a good soak to help it settle in. Watering helps to settle the soil around the roots and provides the necessary moisture for the plant to start growing. Finally, mulch around the base. Mulching helps to retain soil moisture, regulate soil temperature and suppress weed growth. Apply a layer of mulch to retain moisture and suppress weeds. Organic mulches such as straw or wood chips also decompose over time, adding nutrients to the soil. Remember to provide regular watering, especially during dry periods. Consistent watering is key to ensuring that your plants remain healthy and vibrant. Enjoy the process and watch your plant flourish. Gardening is not just about the end result, but also about the joy and satisfaction that comes from nurturing a living thing. Section 6. The magic of healthy soil feeding your garden. Healthy soil is the foundation of a thriving garden. Composting is a fantastic way to nourish your soil and reduce waste. Collect kitchen scraps like fruit peels, vegetable scraps and coffee grounds. Combine these materials with dry leaves, shredded paper and garden waste in a compost bin. Turn the pile regularly to provide aeration. Over time these materials will decompose into nutrient-rich compost. Adding compost to your garden improves soil structure, enhances drainage and provides essential nutrients for plant growth. By composting, you're not only feeding your garden, but also reducing the amount of waste going to landfills. Section 7 Green Cities, Cool Cities, Urban Greening Initiatives Cities around the world are embracing urban greening initiatives to combat the urban heat island effect and improve the quality of life for residents. These initiatives often involve planting trees along streets, creating more parks and green spaces, and implementing green roofs and walls. Community gardens are also gaining popularity, providing residents with spaces to connect with nature and grow their own food. These initiatives not only cool the city, but also enhance biodiversity, improve air quality, and create a more pleasant and livable urban environment for everyone. Section 8. Green Roofs and Living Walls – Innovative Urban Oasis Green roofs and living walls are innovative approaches to urban greening. Green roofs involve covering rooftops with vegetation. Living walls are vertical structures covered with plants. These green installations provide numerous benefits. They reduce the urban heat island effect by absorbing sunlight and providing insulation. 
They improve air quality by filtering pollutants and releasing oxygen. Green roofs and living walls also create habitats for birds and insects, enhancing urban biodiversity. These innovative green spaces transform urban landscapes into beautiful and sustainable oases. Section 9. Your garden, your contribution, time to grow. Growing plants, whether in a garden, on a balcony or even indoors, is a simple yet powerful act with far-reaching benefits. It's a direct contribution to a cooler, greener and healthier planet. Start small if you need to. Plant a few herbs in pots on your windowsill. Join a community garden and learn from experienced gardeners. Every plant makes a difference. By embracing gardening, we become active participants in the fight against climate change. We create a more beautiful and sustainable world one plant at a time. Let's get growing.